Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started here with some bread and butter bolos. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. And one thing you're going to see is I source cheap. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And shout out to Cha-Ching King. Go check out his YouTube channel. He is awesome. And he has a lot of beginners tutorial style videos. So if you're new to eBay and you want to learn, definitely check him out. He has a really um, just natural way of teaching. He's really, really good. So the first item I sold is a Lane Bryant blouse. I have sold four of these and I have six left. I picked these up at a discount store. I want to say I had anywhere between a dollar and three dollars a piece in these. They're um, different sizes. So you click select size and I have these are the sizes I have left. This is called a multi-quantity listing. Now I kind of have mixed feelings about the multi-quantity listing when it comes to having variations. Multi-quantity is fine. Like if you have one item and have 50 Yes, do it. The variations, it's a little tricky. Number one, you can't go in and edit from your phone. So if something sells on another platform, you have to go to your computer to make the edits. I don't like that. Um, another thing is, is I don't know that I feel like sometimes if the title, if something's sold out, like 2224 is sold out, it's still in my title. It could cause disappointment, you know, if somebody comes to the listing. And I don't know how it works really for the algorithm. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys like variation listings? I will tell you that I don't do them anymore. Um, but some people love them. I know a lot of people do them with game pieces. I could see that working out really well if um, somebody's got a game and they have parted it out and somebody wants multiple pieces and parts of one game, that could be beneficial to have a multi variation listing on clothing. Uh, in the future, I think I will just list the item and put how many I have of that item. But for now, I'm not going back and changing everything. I listed this a long, long time ago. And that's the other thing when you um, edit or sell similar, you have to update all of your things. So this has been listed since September 27th of 2017. If I want to go in and end this listing and create a new listing, I'm going to need to write down the quantities and make sure that it actually updated that when I hit sell similar. I'm not sure if it will or not. I can't remember. So anyway, I do have the buy one, get one 25% off with coupon code BOLO coupon. And you guys can create coupons for your stores also that look like this. So when people come into your store, they're going to see it. And it may encourage a buyer to purchase multiple things. So I do have a video that teaches you how to create different types of coupons. You can check that out. It's a great way to encourage repeat customers and multiple purchases. So check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. I sold this blouse for $7.74 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this cute little The Petting Zoo Mermaid plush. And I just sold one of these on Whatnot the other night. It was so cute. Um, I had picked it up at the Goodwill Bins. I have been doing, uh, I lost a whole bunch of footage from the Goodwill Bins uh, video footage. And I basically put all the items in a tote in my basement because I really get, I go to the bins and then the videos, I list the stuff to pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. Well, I didn't have the video footage, so I had no motivation to list those items and I needed to get more footage. So those items all went into my money pile. So what I have been doing is I have been putting them in totes and selling them on whatnot. And it has been so fun. It's uncurated. So I'm just I haven't looked anything up because they've just been sitting in a tote for since May of 2022. And. I pulled one of these out and it was so cute. She had a little turtle that she was holding. Oh my goodness. But anyway, this just reminded me of that. So if you want to see some of the Goodwill Bins videos and maybe pick up something, um, I do have a link down below where you can join Whatnot and get $15 to shop. That's my referral link. So check it out. And I hope to see you at a future show. This little petting zoo mermaid, which is not even as cool as the one I sold on Whatnot. I sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. She's so cute. This is Isadora Sheer Pantyhose, and these are coffee, 
coffee color. I got these at the Goodwill bins and I bought a whole bunch of them. They retailed for $1.29 at Shoppers World, wherever that is. And I'm out of stock of this color and size. I sold two of them to one buyer for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. So my cost of goods for these was probably, I don't know, $1.99 a pound, maybe 50 cents, maybe less. I'm not 100% sure what it weighs. But the buyer also came back and bought the other ones for $6.50 and and they paid shipping separately on that at a different time. So one person bought all three pair. This one right here also came from the Goodwill bins. These are the Paw Patrol badges and they're just little toys. Here's the back of them. They, they go to a Paw Patrol set, so they're replacements. Sold these for $9.30 plus shipping. Those also came from the bins. This guy right here is a vintage 1991 Kenner Robin Hood Sheriff of Nottingham with sword. I got this out of a Dibble Box toy box from Donatella Bottolino, her YouTube channel, and I sold this for $6 and the buyer paid shipping. If I remember correctly, this was a new old stock lot and all of the packaging was damaged and I knew that when I bought it. That's why I got it for such a good deal. And I took everything out of the packages and listed them as pre-owned. So this was one of those items. And I think I have like two items left. Those items sold really well. This right here, vis, uh, vintage Disney characters, posters, die cut lot, teacher classroom, educational. These are all covered with, um, what is that called? When they put that plastic layer over them. I got these at a garage sale for free. <laughs> a whole bunch of them. And I lotted them into small lots by category. I had like Valentine's Day, Christmas. Uh, there might've been Halloween. I can't remember. I thought this one was going to sell a lot quicker because they're Disney and they're really cool. Sold it for $30.99 plus shipping. Uh, kind of a pain to ship because they're big, but sold nonetheless. The next item are these vintage Hasbro Monopoly 1998 football themed replacement parts. So these go to Monopoly. I sold these for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I don't, says I got them at the Goodwill, but I don't remember what I paid for them and I did not write it down. So I apologize. This is a vintage 1982 wizard decorative air freshener angel. And this is what the bottom looks like. If you guys ever see these, uh, not a big money bolo at all. I got it at a garage sale, probably paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. I just thought it was interesting. And I sold this for $6 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So not a home run by any means, but still made a profit. This one came out of a Teeble box, which was from T Auctions for You. It was a big old toy box that I bought from her. And it is a MAR, which that might be Mark's dollhouse blue ping pong table, but it was only marked MAR on the bottom. Oh, I wonder if that's an X. Those little lines is supposed to be an X. What do you guys think? Anyway, I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. This my husband picked up at um, a bulk. I think it was like an estate sale. He got a whole bunch of jewelry and he brought it home and I pulled some things out and listed them for him. This is a horse head ring and this has been a while ago. I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Really cute little ring. I thought it was, you know, like a nice little themed item. It's a size five, so it's pretty small and it does have some tarnish on it and it still sold for 10 plus shipping. The next item are these quilt blocks. They are uh, violet. Wonder Art Vintage, retired 1975. And I sold this for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. So I think what's happening here is when I open this up, it shows my current sale price and not what I sold it for, which is really weird. So I don't know why it's doing that, but it's doing it. Uh, the buyer paid shipping on that. They were all in for $33. Here is another one that sold. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I know what happened here. They bought this one and they bought this one, which I think, is that the same pattern? I think it's the same pattern. And they bought both of them for $24. And I still have one left here. And did my sale end? I may have to create a new sale. All right. The next item is this Calico Cat plastic figure. And it sold for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. 
And you guys, I am starting to do more themed shows on whatnot. I just did a Fisher Price Little People and I sold all Fisher Price Little People. And it was such a fun show. Thank you to everybody that came. It was a complete success. <laughs> I also did a doll clothing uh, show. Uh, let's talk about the doll clothing show. Uh, not, not a complete success. <laughs> so one thing that I struggle with, uh, with doll clothing is the sizing. And I didn't know if it went to a 16 inch or an 18 inch. And I'm like, if I bring it to whatnot, I can just hold the items up and my buyers are going to know. Oh my goodness. It was so frustrating. <laughs> like all the Cabbage Patch Kids, all the Fisher Price, my friend doll stuff, everything that was signed and you could like that was labeled and you knew what it was, those items all sold. But the items that didn't have like the sizing and weren't branded, oh my goodness. I was like, I'm sorry, you guys, I don't know what this is. So um, I think in the future, I'm only gonna pick up things that are branded that I know what they go to because it was just confusing. I still did well and thank you to everybody that purchased. Um, still a good show, but just frustrating for me because I, and that's why I get frustrated listing those things on eBay too, is because I don't know what size doll it fits. Aside from getting a doll and putting the outfit on it, how do you guys know which doll the clothes fit? Let me know down in the comments. Any helpful tips for people that don't sell doll clothes on a regular basis? So um, yeah, I still have three bags full. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking about maybe bundling it up and selling it in a lot and putting it in my whatnot, buy it now. I, I don't know. I haven't decided. So if anybody has any recommendations, let me know down in the comments. All right, let's get back to what sold here. Express blouse. And I have one left. I sold this for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. So I, my item is not on sale right now. I need to update my sale. The next item sold so fast. I got this at the Goodwill bins. They were replacement parts for Pop the Pig game and 16 hamburgers and one dice. And like I said, sold fast for $13 plus shipping. Got it at the Goodwill bins. So probably about 50 cents. The next item I have had listed since 2020, but that was a relist. <laughs> I have relisted this item. Uh, you can see here, they are RBX athletic pants, women's size small. I got these, I believe at Gabriel brothers. You can tell how old the listing is because I was not using photo room. I would, I did not after, well, before I had photo room, my husband made me a thing that I laid it on and it was white. So this is still on my carpet. So this is a really, really old listing, but they have this shiny, look to them. They're really cool. And the backs, I don't think that I, if I remember correctly, the backs are just solid, but I used to wear these until I decided that I like the ones with the pockets on the side and I don't wear these anymore. So, uh, this is a new with tags, $88 originally. And I sold these for $12.99 plus shipping. This is a Roman Millennium figurine guardian angel from 2001, fourth in series. Got this out of a thrift store mystery box, which I don't think the thrift store is doing anymore. I haven't been in there for a long time. They remodeled and I just, it's like everything changed. You know, I liked it when it was just small and cooped up and fun. And now I just feel like it's all, everything's big and I don't know, I feel it's just not the same. You know what I'm saying? You know, when people change things and it's not the same, but anyway, I sold this for $20 in the buyer item is this breast cancer awareness pin. Um, so it's a breast cancer awareness pin and it's got the little feet on it. And I have 25 of these available. One person bought, I think four or five of them for $12 and 96 cents plus shipping. This is a baby bop plush pink waffle bedtime pajamas, 10 inch Barney stuffed animal. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $18 and 20 cents plus shipping. Anytime you see the little thermal, look those up guys. This is a pair of Catherine's, Catherine's shoes, black poise, high pumps. I'm sorry, high heel pumps, women's. And this is another multi-variation. So these are my sizes that I have available. These are wide. Um, I picked these up retail arbitrage off of the Catherine's website when they were on sale. And I can't remember what I paid for them. I'd have to go back and look. But 
not making a lot of money on these. I sold these for $11 and 37 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So not my best buy ever. This is Parfait by Offentas, Offentas, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, it's a brawl. I have sold 130 of these. Yes, 130. I only have six left. Again, another multi-variation listing. If I were to do it again, I probably would not do it this way. I would say, okay, I have a 32G and I have six available. And then it would just be its own listing. I think that's how I would do it. I think this just causes confusion. But I have sold 130, so I'm not complaining. But this was a big bulk purchase from a discount store. The next item is this Play School Hero, Heroes Transformers Rescue Bots Copter Crane. And it is incomplete. This is one of the bigger ones. And I think it has like a truck that it sits on. I can't remember. But I sold this for $18 in the buyer paid shipping. And I don't remember where I got that one. And the last item is this broken brooch. Yes, I said broken. It's missing its tail. It has other issues too. What was the other thing? It's missing, I think, one of the pokey things that comes out of the top, the little ball on the end of that. So it's just kind of, it's kind of a mess. But this is a brand that is really collectible. It's called Jewelry 10. I've done really well with these. Anytime I see them, I pick them up. But I sold this broken for parts or repair, more for parts, like somebody who wants these parts up here. They could probably pull these out and use them. I don't know how you would repair this. I mean, I guess you could put a new tail on it if you're really, really talented, but probably for parts. Sold it for $26 in the buyer paid shipping. So how is that for a broken item that sold? Unexpected? Yes. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Thanks for watching.